I just always felt like I should be taking lots of notes and I should be creating all these drawings and stuff like that. And I think it's good that people do. I just never feel the need to it because I, I think it clutters me up. The thing about the world is your broader strokes are what they are. You're not going to change those that much while you're shooting. It's when it gets around camera in the smaller world is when I get more interested. And I tend to have to visually build it not see it as a, a set that's lit, but see how it's gonna work around camera and what I can use to make my life simpler and it simpler and quicker. Let's say we're doing a ballroom in Cinderella. Well, obviously you're talking about thousands of parkans and so the concept of what you need at that point, just you just need, I need a big wall of light here, I need a big wall of light here, I need top light and a back light and that. But what it is actually at that point, you don't really know. And then it expands into the financial cost of it, the operating ability of it, whether it works physically on set. So I first used a Sonara on Lockwood. I was always like, well, I'd rather have four smaller lights, which I can make into one big light, than one big light that I can't make into three small, four small lights. They come with a crate and all the stuff that you need, really. And the thing I like about it is actually that disconnected remote control that you can use as well. And then they're not super heavy. They're, they're pretty easy to work with, actually. I put them on a Baby Long John Silver, so you could just, and you can move them around very quickly. I think that's the other thing about other lights is that just the amount of stuff you have to take with it can be a bit disabilitating. You know, they kind of go, oh, that's really good as a light, but then I've got all the other bits and bobs that I have to carry around with it, and then it becomes a bit slower process. So. And the, the quality of light's very good. The thing is, when I did Game of Thrones, for instance, I was quite shocked at how much the VFX dominate the whole thing. Not in a bad way, but obviously it's created in a visual world, pre-visualized, but even the lighting, the cinematographer has to pay heed to that. But the DOP, to me, it's much less determined. It's more kind of like feels and images. And like Martin Rue would always show me images that he'd liked. Martin's very simple. He never does stuff that's flash because that's not the point. And I think his thing is, well, if I come out of the story, I can't get back into it. And it's very difficult, I think, to do that. Certainly Bob Richardson was very simple in his lighting. His trademark would be the very hot top light. Harris is a little bit the same. He's very talented, quite stylized, and he likes backlight. He's kind of quite traditional. Janish is, again, Kaminsky I really like because I've always liked his lighting because I think it's very gutsy. It's kind of, you see it and you go, there's a lighting shot, and you kind of go, who cares? People do care, but obviously, at the end of the day, you, if you buy into it, then it's fine. I've just worked with Hoyter van Hoytema again, very simple, paired back. Let the world do its thing, not let's show off. I think you learn to, to travel light. It informs the the image much more as well.